Hi, my name is Vincent Chung from the Max Planck Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences. And on behalf of my co-authors Peter Harrison, Lars Meyer, Marcus Pierce, John Dylan Haynes, and Stefan Koch, I'll be here to introduce our paper entitled Uncertainty and Surprise Jointly Predict Musical Pleasure in Amygdala, Hippocampus, and Auditory Cortex Activity, published in Current Biology. Music is an important part of human society, and indeed throughout the ages since the ancient times, music has always played a prominent role in culture. Now the question is, what makes music so pleasing to listen to? So back in the 1950s, the musicologist Leonard Meyer first proposed that perhaps music evokes strong emotions to the listener by manipulating our expectations. However, the exact basis and cognitive mechanism is still not well understood. In this study, we investigate how the expectancy of chords affect how much we enjoy music as well as study its underlying neural mechanisms. So how do we study the expectancy of a chord? Well, there are two temporally dissociable states of expectancy that we could look at. First is the uncertainty in predicting what will happen in the upcoming chord. And second is the surprise or the extent to which our expectations are violated when actually hearing the chord. So to quantify the uncertainty and the surprise of a chord, we turn to machine learning. We used an unsupervised statistical learning model to quantify the statistical regularities of over 80,000 chords in 745 US Billboard Hot 100 pop songs. Now these pop songs were taken from the 1950s up to the 1990s and so featured artists such as the Beatles and ABBA and so on. Using information theory, our computational model produces an estimate of how uncertain and how surprising a chord is to the listener conditional on the context of chords heard so far. In the first experiment, we selected 30 chord progressions from the original pop songs, and we invited subjects to rate for each chord how much they liked it using a mechanical slider. In the second experiment, we invited another group of subjects who listened to the same chord stimuli, but instead we recorded their brain activity using functional magnetic resonance imaging. We found that when individuals are relatively certain about what chord to expect next, they find it pleasant when they are actually surprised. That is, when the predictability is high, listeners tend to enjoy something that is rather novel. On the other hand, when individuals are uncertain about what to expect next, they find it pleasant when subsequent chords are not surprising. In other words, when predictability is low, listeners tend to enjoy something that is more conventional. These processes are supported by brain regions involved in auditory, that is the auditory cortex, and emotional processing, namely the amygdala and the hippocampus. Our findings shed new light on empirical aesthetics as they show the combined effects of uncertainty and surprise on eliciting pleasure. We expected a reward-related brain region called the nucleus accumbens to respond to both the uncertainty and the surprise of a chord. However, interestingly, we found that the nucleus accumbens only responded to the uncertainty of a chord. Now that is very interesting because this brain region has previously been implicated in the hedonic experience of music. And what our study suggests then is that, first of all, the experience of pleasure is not encoded in this region, and its role may instead be to redirect the listener towards the music in order to find out what will happen next. In other words, to resolve the uncertainty in the music. A good example of this is just like how cliffhangers in TV shows keep us hooked on wanting to find out how the story will unfold in the next episode. It is fascinating that humans can derive pleasure in music just by the way how sounds are organized through time. Music that we find pleasant are likely those which strike a good balance between not knowing what is going to happen next and also surprising us with something that we did not expect. Based on our findings, future brain research can consider the combined roles of uncertainty and surprise in other art forms, for example, in dance sequences or in film. Our findings can also be used to enhance artificial music generation algorithms to help composers compose their own music as well as to predict musical trends. We think there is great potential in combining computational modeling with brain imaging to further understand not only why we enjoy music so much, 
but also what it means for us to be human.